Zodiac is one of director David Fincher's most fascinating films. It chronicles the Zodiac Killer investigation and one man's obsession with it. After watching Zodiac for the first time, the feeling of confusion can come over you as it's a long film, and yet it seems to not give us the answers that we want, which to some will make them feel like the movie wasted their time, which is something that I don't think it did. The film clearly points to Arthur being the Zodiac Killer. The movie only makes you doubt whether he's the killer or not to give you the same feeling of doubt that the investigators had, as they aren't 100% sure that any of their suspects is in fact the Zodiac Killer. It's also done to disturb you by showing us that a murderer could be walking among us at any point in time, and that cops sometimes are completely unable to arrest them or even know who they are. The film's presentation of the murders is similar to, but much more brutal than slasher horror movies. The fact that these murders actually happened adds to the disturbing nature of the scenes. The main purpose of the film, besides to recount the murders and the investigation of the Zodiac Killer, is to give you this intense feeling of dread and to disturb you. The ending itself is actually pretty messed up when you think about it, as despite having a prime suspect, they cannot definitively prove that he is in fact the killer. And that's a pretty scary thought, as the Zodiac Zodiac Killer could still be out there, and they have no way of stopping him from committing future murders. It's that feeling of doubt mixed with horror that the ending is trying to invoke. Do you agree with my explanation of Zodiac? Comment down below if you do or don't.